The chief factor affecting the speed of sound is the temperature. The speed of sound, V, in a notch can be calculated using the formula, this formula here. Vert is the temperature in Kelvin. To convert between the temperature of Fahrenheit, Tf, and the Kelvin, Tk, we use this formula here. To convert between a notch and the miles per hour, we use uh, this uh, formula, V wind mile per hour and wind nuts with this factor here to multiply. So calculate the speed of sound in miles per hour when the temperature is 68 Fahrenheit. What we need to know and what we need to take from this information here in order to find the speed of sound. First of all, we take this formula here, speed of sound in the nuts. We take this formula temperature of K, uh, we take in this uh, parameters and temperature 68 Fahrenheit and let write down. We are taking all this information, what we need and how we can solve this problem. So now let's try to use a pen here. Okay. And just let me write here V of mile per hour. of mile per hour is question mark. We don't know what it is. So we need a sound, speed of the sound calculated in a mile per hour. So this is what we need to find. Because temperature is a 68 Fahrenheit, now we are going to find the temperature in Kelvin. So what we do in here, instead of whatever we have in the temperature in Fahrenheit, we're going to input the 68 Fahrenheit, we already have here, 5 over 9, and this is a time, which is a 68 minus 32, 68 minus 32, minus 32, and is a plus 273.15. Two hundred seventy three point fifteen, and all these units here because I have TK, all these units are going to be in Kelvin. So these units here are going to be in Kelvin. Let me write here. This is a Kelvin. So now. Let us calculate everything here. And if we calculate everything, it's going to be something like this. So first of all, let me try this difference between 68 minus 32. It is a 32, because I forgot to write, but it's minus 32 here. So we go in 68 minus 32 and we get a value of 36. Then we multiply 36 times 5, times 5 is 180, and we divide by 9. Divide by 9 is equal 20, plus 273.15, plus 273.15, and now everything here we have a 293.15, so we found we found the temperature in a Kelvin. So temperature in Kelvin is TK is equal to 293, 293, let me write this nine a little bit better, 0.15 Kelvin. So I can write this with a K. We stand the units with a Kelvin. And let me write here 32, because I couldn't write before. And now, in the speed of the sound, in the terms of the knots, we can write it with this formula here. And instead of a TK, which is a temperature in the Kelvin, we are going, we are going to substitute this value here. We're going to substitute here. And then we're going to get. So VKT, 
VKTS, let me write just VKT, is equal to the 643, 643, point eight five five point eight five five and we plug we are going to plug everything in here and we have a square root is divided by TK which is a two ninety three two ninety three point fifteen divided by 273.15 273.15 let me make this a little bit longer and here is a VK we're going to find whatever is the value again we're using a calculator and in the calculator we're going 293.15 we divide by 273.15 we divide first inside of the square root 273.15 and we are going to get 1.037 and this number here we're going to get square root of this number the square root of this number is 1.3599 and then we multiply with this number here 643.855 60, so multiply by a 6 43.855 and we get to the final result is 667 uh, 667 let's approximate this number with 667 uh, 667 uh, knots let's say kts let me write those units all units with kts and now the 677 we already know for wind for example is uh, the relationship between a uh, mile per hour and a knots is uh, this uh, formula so wind mile per hour is equal with 1.150774 time wind for knots and because of the sound is a mechanical wave like uh, the wind so this relationship can be the same for the sound uh, the, for the sound for the speed for example of the sound if we, if we calculate the relationship between uh, the speed of the knots and the, the speed of the mile per hour can be the same relationship so it multiplies with this coefficient here with this number so now because we have a v mile per hour and we calculate in mile per hour now this uh, let me write here just the m because i have little difficulties to write and we write here one point uh, point one five zero zero seven seven nine four nine four time instead of this uh, vkts speed on the knots we are going to look at this formula this uh, numerical value here and we are plugging in let me write this a little bit uh, with a parenthesis so it uh, indicates i am multiplying 667 and everything now is going to be in a mile per hour let's say mpa let me write here if i can mile per hour is going to be this way so now just to let me take a calculator and calculate this number here since i have here 677 the uh, real value of of the speed of sound in a knot now i am multiplying by this factor here 1.150 1 7794 Four, and now I get the result and the result is I'm going to approximate this result in a two decimal places so that's what they are asking in the question and it's going to be 767.58 767.67 uh, 
67 point of 58 mile per hour mile per hour so so the calculated speed of sound in miles per hour written then the temperature is 68 Fahrenheit is going to be 767.58 mile per hour.